Hey everyone, welcome back to Vibes and Vines. I'm Kira Matalasi, a plant mother and a music lover. And today I am here coming at you hot with Music of the Week, Episode 8. So the first song I'm going to be talking about today is For Gerard by Naika. And I got put onto her by a friend like a couple days ago. She was born in Miami, Florida. But she's kind of, she likes to refer to herself as like a child child of the world because she just travels so much growing up. So she lived for a bit in France, in the Caribbean, in Africa, in South, uh, like the South Pacific Islands. And it really shows in her music. It has a lot of different elements sonically firing at once, which is, it's nice. It's something different that your ear holes can really listen to. I just feel so lucky in your eyes. Why I like for Gerard is because, you know, it's October. It's October's Libra season, okay? It's ruled by Venus. So Venus is the planet of love and relationships. So, you know, we're in that mode. This song really sounds like a perfect island romance. This song does a really good job to where the vocabulary and the beat really flow well together to create this beautiful imagery. Because you have her talking about, you bring me out of my shell. They're talking about a two-star motel and this is in the lyrics a two-star motel like um with the lights flickering and even then i picture like yellow stars with flickering light and warm hugs which make me feel like bright orange or like really a warm glow and like the night stars which pairs well with the flickering lights and i don't know i'm big on imagery and wordplay so this to me is just a really it paints a beautiful picture this song will go perfectly well for like a vacation like an out of town bop like i said it really gives you that island feel and this is where you can really tell her caribbean and south pacific influence really comes into play and it's a really good vacation song or it's a really good song with your boo and that's kind of going to be something in the theme with all these songs this week. But yeah, it's just a really nice song to groove to. She also just released a project called Transitions. It's an EP. So go ahead and listen to that if you dig this song after you listen because the thing that's cool about her is that because she has so many different cultures that she could draw from based off personal experience it really each project offers something new so if you really like your artist to get in touch with something different she's a really good pick so give a listen to for gerard by naika the second song i got for y'all this week is going to be dumb luck by twee now she spells it t-h-u-y but don't fuck it up she pronounces it twee she is a bay area baby and i really think her story is pretty interesting she was born and raised in vietnamese culture and growing up you know she really loved pop because that's kind of her bag right now so she loved miss christina aguilera and miss britney motherfucking spears and but i think it's hard you know as a minority in the game especially in the music game since it's so small you don't see a lot of people that really look like you up there and when you don't see that as a kid it kind of crushes your dreams a little bit so she took music and kind of like put it on the back burner as something she loved but something that wasn't super attainable in her eyes so she went to medical school was kind of doing her own thing there and then after a few years of it being meh, then she got an opportunity to hit a studio and then ever since then it's been golden pony boy she hit the ground running right after that in 2017 with her single hands on me which got hella support in the bay area you know those movies like how to be single or someone great where it's like someone has this big realization this song is that like even at the beginning she's like i kind of gave up in my search for love like i just wasn't interested i was fed up but then someone's coming into my life and I didn't even know this kind of love existed outside of movies or outside of fairy tales. Like, am I for real experiencing this? Like, this is wild. And, and it's cute because I feel like when you meet some of those couples that like are really meant to be together or choose to be together, I should say, it really is that energy. It's just like, oh shit, I now you're right beside me. I don't know how you appeared here. This all just happened, but I love you. This song is just about the highs. Like, it's refreshing. It's 
poppy it's just about love and like i said it's october it's venus baby so i'm delivering the love that needs to be delivered you're welcome i can just really picture couples listening to this together and like belting out their hearts in the car or just at home singing and dancing but it's also good for people who love love it's similar to like when you're like nine years old and you're out here singing about love with keisha cole and fantasia and you've never even had a relationship so it's it's big that energy it's good for whatever situation you're in she like nika just released an album called ep album called girls like me don't cry so go ahead and check that out if you really like the snippet that you just heard so yeah go get your love on and go listen to some greatness the third song of the day is nothing even matters by sir and listen 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 linda if you don't know who sir is just listen to his 2019 album chasing summer and enough said he is an r&b king and he got the recipe just right again. I have a special feeling about Nothing Even Matters. I feel like it's more than just a single and if this song is indicative of the direction that he is going in, we are in for a treat. It sounds full, it sounds well-rounded, it sounds practiced, it sounds like he means what he's saying and this song is also really refreshing because i feel like when a lot of men in r&b sing they don't sing about their love for their partner without it following an apology like it's like oh my god i'm sorry i'm sorry whoop de whoop i love you you're my girl you're my blah 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 like can I just get this on the regular without you fucking up beforehand? So that's why I really appreciate Sir, because that's what this song's all about. Listen to this lyric right here. He says, I'll keep catering to your will, if only to bathe in your grace. I'm going to say it again. I'll keep catering to your will, if only to bathe in your grace. Let the church say. I feel like it has a really good effect on men in the hip-hop realm and R&B space when they can kind of see a solid-ass dude like Sir express his love without it, like I said, following the apology trope. And I feel like when you provide a space for men to be emotionally vulnerable, it just continues that cycle and that's how we evolve as a culture and as a species really so this song just literally i feel like diamonds are dancing in my eardrums every single time i listen to it he gave us gold if you want to listen to some gold if you want diamonds dancing in your eardrums go ahead and give a listen to nothing even matters by sir the fourth and final song i have for y'all today is going to be nirvana by dex channels and he's hella dope. We've been following each other on social media for a while now and I discovered him from his song Last Sunday. I really like this song because it's very interesting. You can tell like there's a subtle in the back kind of 80s feel to it and it really makes you feel like maybe mid to late 70s, 80s, but it really makes you feel like you're on a drug trip when you're sober, which is nice because Maybe one day I'll do shrooms, but not one day soon. So I love when shit like this exists. The visuals to this song just add a completely different element to it. And it really just clicks together like a puzzle piece. Because when you listen to the song like by itself, you're like, whoa, this is like a good song. But then when you listen to it in the music video, it's like, whoa like on bill and ted you know so it's it's just really nice i love when shit just comes together and it really goes together and is so cohesive i really like the cinematic feel that this music video had as well him with the angel wings on roller skates like it really just gives you something to focus on and like i said it makes sense like the the way your mind goes when you're listening to the song is the way he created the video my biggest Point of appreciation was the color coordination like that is so big for me I'm all about balance and I'm all about colors so that shit just 
made my eyes just have a big ass party in my head. Yellows and whites and oranges and greens and it's just so pop 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 but not in an overwhelming way in like a <gasps> kind of way. <laughs> if you're looking for something different and you're looking for something to really satiate a bunch of senses and just give your eyeballs some candy to play with go ahead and give a listen to Nirvana and watch the music video by Dex Channels. With all that being said, thank you for coming back to another week of music of the week. So if you're feeling all the love of the Libra season, it would mean a lot if you would click that like button, click the subscribe button, and have a beautiful last day. Fuck you thought, holy shit, it's getting lit. Feeling like it's about time to fuck it up. Alright. Yes, bitch, you better blow. I am thirsty as hell. Oh my god, this is still going? Shit. Well, this used up a lot of this SC card. <laughs> Unless it's a 64 bit. If it's a 64 bit, honey, I got. What? How many minutes I got left on here?